Welcome to Phuket. First day in Phuket, let's go get the Dude. bike sorted out. Overall, Phuket is amazing. The weather is around 30 degrees Celsius or 77 Fahrenheit for my freedom homies. The place is very clean and cozy and it has a very pleasant atmosphere. If you go around, the views are just breathtakingly stunning. If you're going to visit, uh, there is actually a ton to explore. And one of the most popular places is a statue of Big Buddha. On your way to Buddha, be prepared to meet some local animals. Right, we're here with the big Buddha himself at the big Buddha. So there are these metal gongs and the idea is that if you rub it and it starts vibrating then you can make a wish and so we tried and eventually this happened then this monkey jumps out of nowhere sips the energy drink then drops the bottle and then starts throwing up bananas my boy don't like bananas anymore, he likes yeah. the energy. There's this place called Monkey Hill, which is very awesome to visit. Basically, just pull up with a bag of bananas, and some monkeys are gonna ignore you, but others will come and ask very nicely, and others might rob you for a phone or a wallet, so it's kind of no jokes out there actually. It's actually good to be careful because if you're not aware of your surroundings, it will turn into chaos very fast. I was mind blown how similar they are to humans actually. Like for example, when I drink water from a bottle, I do it exactly the same way like this guy. No, but seriously, look at their hands. They're nearly identical to human hands. Their hands have nails and they look so similar to ours. It was very strange to see and very, very cool to see. Basically, after all of these realizations, I was like, wait, I am a monkey too. So I decided to test out my skills and climb a coconut tree. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wow. Holy shit. Dude. Woo. This was not easy. This was not easy at all. Dude, that has to be drinkable. Oh. That's so good, dude. Yeah. 
literally fresh, dude. It's the tastiest coconut I've ever eaten. That's bullshit. <laughs> If you ever get tired of Phuket, you can always get to Fifi Islands, which is really simple to do. A little lower packs. Everyone wants to get to Fifi. Smell it. Oh, so the heat is unreal right now. We've been swimming for 30 seconds. I'm already overheating. Our plan was to get on a boat and go around the islands and explore. It's really shocking the size of these mountains. It really is impossible to show it through the camera because they seem so small, but driving by them. It feels like something surreal. I've never seen something like that in real life. Maybe something on Tenerife, but... Yeah, right? But these look just... So beautiful! It's like, it's hard to comprehend the actual size of these things. And the trees that grow on them, like, what the fuck is that? How yeah. do they grow there? So, green and nice and beautiful feels very exotic. Water is crystal clear and it is so warm, you can barely feel it on your skin. The scenery is just unbelievable. It genuinely feels like you're on another planet. And the feeling of being under the water in these conditions and seeing all of these views, it's like heaven. We are in the old town of Phuket and for the weekends they close the road and it turns into a little mini market so let's go check it out. All these people right here are sitting and waiting until this dragon starts flying. That's the rumor that they have. Basically, you have to sit here on a Sunday night and wait until the dragon moves and then you can get uh, your wish granted. Overall, if you like exploring, Phuket has a lot of hidden things for you to discover. Hello. There's a lot of amazing wow. stuff in the city, but if you go out in the nature, there is even more interesting stuff for you to explore and enjoy. For example, right here, we are walking through the jungle, and these are some kind of ancient relics. Literally feels like you are walking in a movie. You might have heard of this famous place called Nui Beach. It is a kind of fancy beach where you can take cool Instagram pictures. But the road to this place looks like this. And basically everyone gets stuck on the way there. This is, this is the dirt that we're stuck in. 
So choose the right transport to travel there. And finally, getting out of the dirty jungle, it's time for a water park. Tell it to be steam. Very awesome to be at this place, right in front of the statue, statue in the name of Buddha. If I remember correctly, uh, one of the most popular things, one of the most important things that he's known for is that he created a meditation and he teached people how to meditate. And he had a very specific technique to do it right. If it's correct, uh, the technique preserved for like thousand and a half years or two thousand years people actually kept it and in today's world you can actually try to learn it for free there's a thing that's called vipassana it's a group of people that uh, have kept this tradition and kept the technique and basically anyone in the world is welcome to come in and try it out it's completely free it's a place where you go and gather with another like-minded people and you have 10 days to practice during these 10 days people or the, the people who guide the meditation they provide you with shelter and food it doesn't cost anything and i believe there is a base in every country in the world so it's entirely free it's entirely accessible to everyone and if the history holds true then what you're actually learning is the techniques of this person so because he was so big at the time that they actually put statues of him all over the world and this is i think one of the biggest ones i think it's kind of interesting to try it out and learn about it i personally did it myself i think this was one of the most interesting and actually life-changing experiences um, Overall, I really like meditation and the techniques they teach there were really deep and interesting. And uh, yeah, I definitely can recommend doing that. And actually, it's really cool to come here. And this is the first thing that came to my mind is like, wait, this is in connection to that. And this stands here for the things that he has done for the achievements and the accomplishments, which is really awesome. And I feel just, I guess, one or two more percent connected to the whole meaning of the statue and the spirituality of the place. 